Hey everyone, so today I'm going to show you guys how the color switch works and I picked this up at iMats. So basically what it is, is a coarse black sponge and what you do is you take your makeup brushes and you actually just swirl them in the sponge without any um, brush cleaner on the brush. So what you do is when you want to create an eye look and you're using, say you want to use the same brush for a different color, but you don't want them to mix and get muddy, you would actually swirl your brush in here and it will take care of all the color in between quick color switches. Now I'm not sure how um, this would work for makeup artists because you don't want the um, bacteria to grow in the makeup sponge. You can wash the sponge in between, so maybe you could do it on one client at a time, but I would not recommend using this for multiple clients. Say you want to use the color black. So I'm dipping my color in this black, and by the way, I'm using the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette. So here is the saturated black eyeshadow brush. So I'm just gonna show you guys here. As you can see, it's fully saturated with black. And say you want to use this on a light brown shadow. So the one on the end here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this black saturated brush and you're gonna swirl it in to the color switch. And then what you're gonna do is you can see here when I swipe it, there's gonna be nothing. So for the next brush here, I'm gonna use a blending brush and I'm just gonna pack this on with a brown shade here. And as you can see, there's some brown color right here. So when I go in here and I swirl on the color switch, and then I put it back on the paper towel here, or the tissue, there's nothing there. For the next shade I'm gonna use here is one of the lighter colors, and this is just the peach color. And again, I'm going to move this on the tissue. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swirl in the color switch again, and you can kind of see the product picking up in the sponge. So you will eventually have to um, wash this with hot soapy water. So what I'm doing is I'm just swirling it in, pretty simple. And you can see here that there's nothing on the brush. Now for these tougher shadows like the black and the brown, you might have to swirl a little bit more to just get the color out there. But um, it's better than just swirling on a tissue because I feel like this actually gets the product out much better. And again, when I swipe on the tissue, there's nothing there. So overall, I really like this color switch product. Um, I think it's pretty cool. I mean, I've never seen anything like this. The sponge does come out if you guys are curious. You can just pinch it and the whole thing comes out so you can wash off this tin. Or once this sponge gets dingy and you can't use it anymore, you can definitely store something in this tin. Um, maybe you could put some makeup brush remover cleaner in here and then you can kind of like dip your brushes for cleaning. I mean, you could definitely reuse this tin for something. My first initial thought of this sponge when I saw it at IMAX is, oh my gosh, like $12 for just a sponge in a tin. But I really do like this. Um, I'm not sure like if you could find a sponge similar to this in like a store, a craft store or something. I mean, I'm sure maybe you could find something similar. I'm not sure how it would work with the makeup brushes, but it's certainly worth a try to save some money there. But overall, I really do enjoy this sponge. I think it was really a cool concept and a cool idea on how to remove color from your makeup brushes. If you guys have used the color switch, let me know what you guys think in the comments, if you guys think this is worth the money or if you guys have found a cheaper dupe. So if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Um, please subscribe to my channel as I'll have more videos for you guys soon. 
and leave any requests or suggestions down in the comments and I will get back to you guys. That wraps up my review of the color switch and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye!